Good evening, I'm Nanette Nedved, and welcome to Cinema Talk. In a few days, it'll be Valentine's Day, so it seems only fitting that we talk about the favorite subject of filmmakers and moviegoers all around the world. Love. And to make sure we get a 360-degree view of love on and off screen, we are joined by real and real-life sweethearts, Rico Yan and Claudine Barrett. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming, but before we talk to our two sweethearts here about being in love and staying in love in this crazy world of show business, let's take a look at the other famous love teams that Philippine Cinema produced and what became of them afterwards. Watch this. Love teams have fueled the fans' excitement for a long time. The hope that the partnership turns real have kept many moviegoers lining up at the box office longing to catch a glimpse of their relationship between their screen idols. They just can't wait for their favorite couple to fall in love, for real, as what inevitably happens. The king of action, Fernando Po Jr., married his queen, Susan Rosses, in a big public wedding ceremony on December 25, 1969. They were the epitome of the perfect love team. They did movies together even after they were married, and they enjoyed the fans' support with each one. Susan Rosas has since gone into semi-retirement, while SPJ still maintains his kingly status by doing a few chosen projects. And since he has established himself as a true king, a gentleman, and a good family man, his fans continue to support him, regardless of whom he's paired with. In the 1970s, a young lass from Bicol captured the hearts of the Filipino masses and her team-up with another young actor brought them both to new career heights. Everyone fell in love with Guy and Pip. And in the middle of it all, Guy and Pip, well, they fell in love with each other. The pressure proved to be too great for the both of them, and when the love team fell apart, Nora Anor maintained her hold on stardom as she continued to reign as the country's superstar. She moved on to do more serious projects and found herself being matched with another actor, Christopher De Leon. The fans approved of the match and another partnership was born, one that eventually led to the altar, or rather to the beach where the controversial exchange of marriage vows was held. As they both tackled more serious projects, the fans were with them every step of the way until they decided to set off in different paths. But as both had established themselves as mature actors, neither suffered ill effects from the breakup. Theirs was the biggest love affair of the 80s, highlighted by a wedding that rivaled that of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's in grandeur. Since Sharon Cuneta and Gabby Concepcion starred together in Dear Heart, it was love at first sight. Not for the two of them, but for the fans who from that moment on have faithfully followed every twist and turn of their relationship. And as their movies reflected the realities they faced in real life, movie fans trooped to the theaters to get a peek. It was a sad day for show business the day they announced their separation, and with the fan sentiments in Sharon's favor, she went on to become the country's one and only mega star. Judy Ann Santos fell in love with her first partner, Wawi de Guzman. But a few blockbuster hits later, they broke up and so did their love team. Judai has survived the fall of their love team and has since emerged with a new one, this time, Lola Pascual. Fans have accepted this recent team-up, and as the two stars have remained mum about the real score between them, fans continue to be thrilled and excited by the possibility of a future relationship. But here's another pair of sweethearts who are not keeping their relationship a secret. Rico Yan and Claudine Barreto. After several movies and a soap opera, they've decided to take their love team to the next level. A move that they openly admitted to the public. A wise move? Maybe. Or maybe not. It's ironic that while fans want their favorite couple to fall in love for real, it seems that when they do eventually fall in love, the excitement somehow dies down. Or does it really? We're talking to one of Showbiz's favorite couples, Rico and Claudine, when Cinema Talk returns. Okay, welcome back. Oh, you're great. <laughs> yeah. Hard question. Yeah. First question. How difficult is it really to be in a love team, a real love team, in the business? Um, yeah. yeah. Hard. Really hard. Really hard. Why? Because of the intrigues, the people. Yeah. And, you know, um, even if you're not fighting, yeah. they come up with all those, you know, cuentos and intrigues na you're not together anymore. Yeah, they 
they, they have this knack for trying to destroy you. When, when they see that you're happy, they want you to split up. When you're not together, they want you to get together. Time out, time out. Okay. Where do we place ourselves? So now that we're together, people want to, to, to split us up. So they, they come up with all these nasty rumors and all these gossip. Like what? What, what is said? Because I, I was part of a... Well, it wasn't necessarily a love team, but I had a, a, a relationship get, get with, an, with an actor before. Mm -hmm. And it was just impossible. Because everybody has something to say. Everybody has an yes. opinion. Yes. And somebody's always seen something that's going to make you upset. So what, what, what has happened with you? Um, like what? What controversies have you come across? Controversies? Uh, well, basically, the, the, the controversies are the rumors that really struck us the most and really bothered us were the ones pertaining to us splitting up. Yeah. Which didn't happen. No, no it didn't no. happen. Okay. It didn't happen. It, it, it's about us splitting up, us getting to a fight, us creating a scandal. You know, not, in, not in being a public, a public yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. not being professional, like we were shooting because of the fight. And yeah, things. like for example, they did say that um, we, we were we were we we're so unprofessional because we 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 had a, a shooting day packed up because we claimed that we were sick and we were seen in the mall. Yeah. Things like that. Talagang, so that ah, the hazards. The crazy. Hazards. It's really crazy. Do you think there's a way? Because when we were doing our research, a lot of the love teams na bago sila, bago nila aminin na sila. This this whole killing factor and everyone so happy. Yeah. So we think, sila, yeah. Oh, oh. Exactly. But then once we admit. But if something happens, people aren't happy, mm -hmm. they create con controversy, like you said, and then their careers, they don't seem to work anymore as a love team. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's actually room in this business for, for love teams like yourself? Where uh, you're honest, you say, yes, we're together, which is better than most. Yeah. And yet, do you think there's actually room for that kind of honesty? Yes, I always believe that there is. Uh, I, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to compare our local show business scene to Hollywood. Okay. But uh, Hollywood, case in point, we know for a fact that actors have wives mm -hmm. and this actor has a girlfriend, but it doesn't in, a way, in any way decrease their, their viability as, as matinee idols right. and stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, people respect that. Mm -hmm. And I, I always feel that wherever, wherever it is that show business is headed, the Philippine show business is headed, Will be more, will be more or less um, in the likeness of the patterns of Hollywood. Hollywood. That's so, true. That's where we're heading. So yeah. we would like to try to, you know, to more or less express how we really are in in real life that yeah. we're together, and uh, we're just hoping that people would accept that and gladly that they did. Yeah. Do they? Do you fight more because you're in the public eye than you usually would as as a, like a normal couple? No. 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 Actually, you fight less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. Because I, I think we, we really know each other already, inside okay. out. Mm -hmm. So that we're, we're, I think, at that point already. Yeah. We, and we don't really listen to what other people say. I think the important thing in a relationship, uh, in a showbiz relationship, is that you don't bring the public into in, into the relationship. You can you can bring them in as, as spectators, but not really into it as decision makers. Mm -mm. Ultimately, the decision should lie between the two of you. And uh, as far as as far as problems regarding our personal relationship is concerned, mm -hmm. we should filter that out. We should solve we should solve the problem ourselves. And can you? Are you able to do that? Yeah. 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 Wow. I, <laughs> we, you know, we don't when really talk about each other when we have interviews. Okay. That's why people talaga don't really know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we try to stay away from intrigue as much as possible, so we become masira. Like for example, if someone interviewed Claudine, and you know, incidentally, one of the questions would be like, "How's Rico?" She'd say, "Oh, he's okay." Next question, please. Yeah, yeah. 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 But and you both came from relationships before, so is this something you learned from your past relationships, and so now you know better? We always believe that we learn from yeah. our past relationships, okay. from our past experiences. So. Okay. Your former girlfriend was not a showbiz figure, was she? Or was uh, she? she was not. Okay, so you're the one who kind of brings in the expert. Yeah. Because you've been you've been in the limelight much longer than Rico. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, so yeah. How about what are the good things? Let's hear the good things, Nama. Yeah. What's the good thing about being a love team? We're comfortable. Yeah. We're what comfortable with each other. I mean, um, we... It's easier to work with someone that uh, you know, talaga. Yeah. Like kissing scenes or... Like, 
<laughs> which we'll Lexi. talk about later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in your case, Annette, uh, okay. uh, you've been in showbiz longer than the both of us have okay. been in. Okay. And, uh, okay. no, but you're still young. Okay. You're still very, very young. Okay. Yeah. In fact, you're younger than me. Okay. 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 But, but, but uh, we, we, I always believe that um, as long as you're in a relationship with someone okay. and that someone happens to be your leading lady, mm -hmm. it's so easy to get into, into those intimate and delicate scenes yeah. with her because mm -hmm. you're so comfortable and the scene becomes so natural, it becomes so sincere, it becomes so real mm -hmm. that the viewers can actually relate to it. Yeah. What's hard is annoying if, if our scenes like magkaaway or suntukan, mm -hmm. after you... Yeah, like for example, during the movie, the movie okay. are, are the movie that we're that the show. Yeah, you're promoting. Yeah, that we're that we're promoting. We had a scene where I was really mad, shouting, okay. the point of shouting. Okay. And she hates it when I shout. Yeah. Yeah, and the whole time, you know. I remember that scene. actually. Now that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You know, she, the whole time she wasn't talking to me. I was like, Yeah, I got scared. Kaya, I got scared. Why, why isn't she talking to me? She was scared, pala. You yeah. see? But, you know, after that the day. you're a good actor. Yeah. He is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Check, please. You were, you were shouting and she got scared. Yeah, she got scared. Okay. So, uh, even in between takes, whenever we talk, she wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> why are you not talking to me? And he pushed me hard. Really hard. So I like, yeah, I saw that. That scene. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh I won't make it booking, but yeah. there is there is a lot of emotion. Yeah, exactly. It means what? He has the potential to of actually course. be like that. No, 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 no not that. He's a good actor. <laughs> See that you're my boyfriend. Yeah. I do. Okay. I'm, yes. And I'm an angel, deba. Right? I'm a good boy in real life. <laughs> and then? <laughs> You're not going to comment on that? No, he is. <laughs> okay, so again. We're going to go for a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about a little more personal things. A little more, not so general anymore. More personal about the two of you. So please don't go away. We're going to get to know Rico and Salim better. Let me play the part. Ay, naku, babe. Huwag mo silang pansinin. Okay? Bakit? Kasi ingit sila. Why? Kasi akin ka. I love you. I love you too. Kiss. Wow, fidget naman. Now to believe. 